Welcome mon ami, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this video, like you want to know what my prescriptions are. I have mentioned that I do have high myopia so I can't see um, from my far distance so hence why I wear these glasses. And yeah, I'm going to start off by showing you guys with all my uh, eye test results. Um, so I've kept like a few and I've got my current one as well. So. Um, and also I will be showing you guys, I'm just going to cram everything down into this video so I'm going to show you like my eye measurements that I've kept for a whole year. Can you believe it? I actually stuck to something so um, yeah so I'm going to show you that so I've got that here um, and then I will compare and contrast what my eyesight were before to how they are now and um, have there been any improvements since I've you know since a year ago I've you know, actually try to dedicate myself to natural improvement. So, yeah. And if I sound all funny, it's because I've got a runny nose. I woke up to a runny nose. I am wearing my specs today because, like, I need to actually read things. So, I don't want to be like this. So, um, I feel like I'm going to ramble a lot in this video. So, I'm just going to go for it. So, this is a slightly different angle. Um, I figured that this was the best way to show you. So, this is what a normal prescription looks like. And if you don't know what how to read a prescription, what you're focusing on is this. Uh, so, it's a so SPH, so um, that's the strength of your prescription, and obviously, um, sometimes you might see a plus if you you know if you're not um, nearsighted. So how it works is that the higher the uh, numbers go, the worse your eyesight is, and so I'm trying to get these numbers to go into low. Like I'm trying to get them down or up, shall I say? So basically. I, if it's like at minus two, minus two is much more better than minus eight. So the more down you go, it's like in maths class, you know how they teach you like the um, temperatures. So the more down you go, the colder it gets. So it's a bit like that. So the more down you go, the worse your eyesight is. And the cylinder is basically, you don't have to really worry about this. Um, it's basically the astigmatism and you know if you've got high myopia you're obviously going to have astigmatism if you have astigmatism you're gonna have some sort of access going on so it's basically where the I think is it the cornea or something it's like the shape of your um, lens so instead of having a round lens so instead of having a circle lens you've got a bit of a rugby shaped lens so um, yeah, that's because of astigmatism. And obviously I don't need to worry about these, I've got nothing going on here. It's just these three that I need to, um, you know, worry about. But the thing is, if I'm able to decrease these numbers, I can really um, improve my eyesight. So as you can see, it's minus, my right eye is minus 11, my left eye is minus 8.50. And I took this result in 2015. So the green sticker means it's from the same optician because I did uh, take a random test, eye test in a different optician which I'll show you in a minute. But um, so yeah, this was in 2015 so I had a minus 11, minus 8.5. Um, so you don't have to worry about these. So that's what it looks like. And I've kind of folded it in because obviously I don't want to... Um, I don't want to put any names out there of opticians because like if I was to scrutinize or criticize I don't want that to backlash on me so yeah for that reason I won't be saying any uh, names of the opticians where I take my eye tests and this was from an actual optician so yeah so that's the 2015 one here I have the 2016 one um, so yeah by the way that's my date of birth just <laughs> just saying um um so yeah 2016 and here you can see in my right eye i had minus 11 left eye it kind of improved i guess from 2015 it was minus 8.5 and then in 2016 one year later it kind of improved because it as you can see from 8.5 it went to 8.25 um and yeah but let's see the stigmatism it kind of increased in a weird way so it's supposed to drop because obviously it has dropped here but different places will give you different results so i went to these two are from the same opticians and they've you know it seems like my you know eyesight is like that and then when i went to a different um optician it was completely different so 
I'll show you that in a minute. So as you can see, minus 11 right eye, minus 11 right eye, minus 8.25. So only the left eye is slightly improved over one year. And I didn't really do any like, sorry, chair. So I didn't really do any, um, Im you know, vision improvements, any of that. And I think 2016, did I start uni or something? I don't know. But, you know, I've been heavily on devices, so yeah. So I didn't really do anything differently, um, but yeah, these are just my notes. So this is the one where I took a test in a different place, and obviously I blocked out the address so you can't see that. And obviously I blo I've been blocking the addresses with the st um, post sticks, so yeah. This was in 2018, so last year, um, and that's when I've actually started my measurements, which I'm going to show you. So for a whole year I started measuring my eyes after this appointment because it gave me a heart attack so <laughs> so apparently in 2018 my right eye was minus 12.25 <laughs> that's so scary when I see this number and the left eye is well was minus 9.25 so basically what this optician was saying is that everything has increased like a whole diopter and a bit more so as you can see I've I've always been hitting minus 8, minus 8, and then suddenly I'm at a minus 9 and a minus 12. Clearly they've increased my diopter so I can get a sharper vision, but the sharper they make my uh, lens means that I won't get um, more, ch you know, visual challenges. So like my eye, and you know your lens in your eyes, they, they're they always changing. So the fact that they were giving me a high prescription is not really good. And um, in fact, it could have done more damage to my eyes. So. It's good I didn't buy the uh, glasses from them, so they've increased the axis as well, so 82, um, only this axis the, in the right eye, they didn't increase that, so, but it doesn't matter, That's the axis on the cylinder is not what's affecting your eyes, it's this, this, my friend, is what we need to focus on, um, because the higher the, you know, the numbers, the worse your eyes are, so you really need to drop those down if you're at a high my myopia like me. So before I show you my results for this year, um, I'm going to show you my measurements. I'm going to show you the measurements that I've been keeping a track of for like since 2018. Where's my pen? So since 2018, I've been keeping a track of my eyesight um, for a whole year now. So that's why I thought it's a great time to make my video and just show you what where I'm at. So yeah. Um, before I start, I need to say that at different times of the day will give you different results. So when you do measure your eyes, I measured it with a measuring tape. So I did use that and I have been careful. As you can see, I didn't get to measure it in the morning, but I did measure it in the midday. And I got a result of 17 uh, centimeters. Then I got a result of 15 centimeters in my right eye, 17 in my left eye. Then at 12, 28 um, in the afternoon, I, um, I've got a measurement of 19 centimeters and then a, a measurement of 16 centimeters in my right eye um, and then in the evening in my left eye I had still um, um, I still had a measurement of 19 centimeters and a measurement of 17 centimeters in my right eye in January 2019 as you can see my right eye was 15.5 and my left eye was 19 centimeters then in I did another measurement in January, so my right eye was 17 centimeters and my left eye was 20 centimeters. Then on Tuesday, my right eye was 18 centimeters and my left eye was 21 centimeters. So you can see, you know, there's been a bit of an improvement there. Um, in March, on March the 8th. In 2019, um, my right eye was 18 centimeters. My left eye was 20 centimeters. In April, my oh, and I also did record the timing so you can see what when I took these measurements. But so yeah, in on the 8th of March, my right eye was 18 centimeters, um, and my left eye was 20 centimeters. And bearing in mind, I was in uni throughout this whole year so I had a lot of exams, a lot of assignments, a lot of pressure, stress, all of that so I'm, I was always on the computer pretty much like for eight hours straight on, on the computer, on my computer, on my laptop just working 
So, yeah, so I'm surprised with these measurements, you know, um, especially when we read those ones. Um, so, yeah, on the 23rd of April, um, that was the time, so my right eye was 18.5 centimeters, so a little improvement, and my left eye was 21 centimeters. So, here you can see on the 13th of June at 11.17, my right eye was 18.5 and my left eye was 21 centimeters. Here I put it in a bubble because I, me I measured these eyes when there was sunlight so it can kind of like question my results, like the reliability of it. So um, I did put them in, in a bubble to remind me that these measurements were taken with the sunshine. So the sun was shining on my book when I was taking these measurements, as you can see it was during the evening. So my right eye was 19.5 instead of 17, so and my left eye was 26 centimeters instead of 21 so you can see that when there's a lot of sunshine my eyes can read from a further distance which is really good but normally without the sunshine it's at that um, and then in August I took a me another measurement um, with the sunshine again so you can see that my right eye was actually able to see at 20 centimeters instead of 19.5 and my left eye was able to see at 26 centimeters um, which is the same as what it was before. So anyways, without the sunshine, the recordings went back to normal. Um, so you can see here, on the 16th of August, my right eye was 17, so it kind of dropped, um, it kind of went worse from what it was before. And the reason why is because, like I said before, this was the month where there was so much pressure and stress because we had our dissertation, proposal, assignments, everything was due in these months, in this time of year. In September, it kind of went up again, so it went from 17 centimeters and went to 18 centimeters, left eye, 20 centimeters and went to 21 centimeters. In October, at 2.50, I recorded my eyes so right eye was 18 centimeters so no difference and um, 21 centimeters in my left eye um, I made like little side notes saying what I did in the morning before I took these measurements so I kind of like reminded myself 8th of October my right eye was actually at 19 centimeters centimeters I can't even say it that's how happy I am <laughs> when I seen this result and my left eye was at 22 centimeters I feel like I, this this result right here gave me hope that you know our lens in our eyes do change and they can improve and then it kind of went a bit down again in November so that was my last result which was in on the 11th of November November right eye was 18.5 left eye was 22 centimeters so yeah so as you can see that was my final result um it's still not December yet so there's nothing there um, so yeah, these are all my results and so now that I've told you that, I am going to show you my current um, eye test result that I've taken just about a few days ago I guess, so here it is, um, so it was taken on the 19th of November this year, um, so yeah, as you can see my right eye is and this was from the same optician place from as these ones so here is my results for 2019 um right eye minus 11 left eye minus 8 and i was actually proud of that because look at that this was last year's results minus right eye was minus eight, uh, 12 .25, and left eye was minus 9.25 and bearing in mind, because this is from a different um, opticians, you know, some people might say, well, this is not reliable um, because it's from a different place. But the reason why I, I took my measurement in a different place was because I wanted to see would I get the same results um, or similar, would I get same results or similar results as to the opticians, um, to the results that I've been getting previously. So as you can see, I've always been hitting minus 11 and minus 8, minus 11, minus 8, minus 11, minus 8, um, whereas this opticians I got in 2018, so last year, so I got a minus 12 and a minus 9, yeah? So, um, it kind of, you know, there's a question mark about this, like, why is it so high? Have they purposely increased it so that I can see a, a lot more better? Um, and if so, like, it's a whole diopter that they've increased it to, so, which is 
really not what I want so you know I definitely won't be going here again um, but next year's results will be something a lot more accurate because obviously um, this is the actual result now so as you can see in 2015 so if I switch this around so if I compare these two results you can see that you know it's improved my left eye has definitely improved from minus two point you know, from minus eight point two five to minus eight um and my right eye has improved uh, has stayed the same so I definitely need to work on my right eye for sure if I can even drop it down to one diopter in a year to minus ten then that will be a clear successful result so stay tuned for that one in 2020 results so so hopefully you've got some kind of idea of what my eye results are I will continue to keep my measurements in this notebook all my life like since I've been a kid you know my eyesight has always been getting worse if this video has been motivational or has encouraged you or has given you some kind of insight then do give it a like all my social links are down in the description um, and also I've created a playlist so like you know all the videos that I feel like are beneficial and motivational and you know people have made natural eye improvements um, you know the science and the biology the reasoning to how you can naturally improve your eyesight and you know for pe for the people who've actually got you know better results than I have you know because I'm highly myopic I won't get drastic results and um, it's going to be really tiny tiny results but end of the day still some sort of improvement but anyways I've put all these videos together and I've put them into a playlist and you can find that in my description at the bottom of this video so instead of you browsing around on YouTube trying to find something that playlist is there for you I hope you all have an amazing week peace